Warning, this game will automatically withdraw from your bank account. This is Jump and Shoot playing No Straight Roads for the Nintendo bitch again. Uh, I tried just changing the, the screen resolution to what it actually is on my monitor, so hopefully, I don't know, maybe it'll look better. Uh, wait, what the fuck? What was that? There's a colorblind mode. Oh, and you, you know it's it's different because I spelled it with a U. It's a colorblind mode. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> In case your eyes are broken, I guess I guess there's a accessibility mode for that. Why would how would you know if that's like even correct for you if you? Change it to a different color blind mode. I, I don't know. I don't know. Perception shit doesn't really... I don't really get it. Um, another thing I want to point out. Like, I'm going to be making comparisons to the Switch version. Like, it's, uh, like I said, it's all, like, mostly graphical. Um, the game is the same. Except for whatever changes they add to, uh... What's it called? The, uh... The game. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I'm trying to look to see if, like, if anything looks better. I, I can't, doesn't look like I can upgrade anything yet, so. Uh, nope, can't do anything here, because I've got to go to Vital City. Yeah, so, none of the, none of that shit matters, like, any of the graphical stuff. It's just stuff i noticed that i i want to bring up because a long time ago i was uh recording clips and stuff when i was on the switch version so i could make a comparison video but i, I deleted most of the stuff <laughs> so i don't have the footage anymore uh the i noticing the the textures and everything take a lot longer to load and that's weird all right oh you can't attack in the overworld. That's concerning. Observe. Alligator tracks. I don't know what made these tracks, but I sure hope it's as cute as those Wigglies that Zook said he has a kid. Wigglies? Excuse me? So I actually like this part of the game where you can just, like, explore the town. Um, it's a good hub world. Whoa. <laughs> and you know, people <laughs> spin around and getting your face is cool. Yeah, it sucked. Thanks for the offer, but we're much too busy today. We're too busy, busy, pleasantly busy. We got no time to look at you. It's a metaphor for walking past the homeless people. <laughs> That's what VeggieTales was trying to teach kids. It's okay. Whoa, I didn't mean to buy that, but I guess I did. I just wanted to jump on it and, and uh, get this thing over here. God damn it. And the, mu the music is pretty good here. I don't know if you can actually make this jump. Oh my god, Mayday. Please. It's, it's right there. Oh my god. I think you can unlock a double jump with these guys, but I want to try to do stuff without it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm good at platforming because I can find shit like that. Uh, Vinyl City is experiencing blackout. No thanks to NSR. Various equipment in the city has been affected and requires a sufficient power to function. You can help Vinyl City by putting your energy cells inside of the thing. And I would have more if I didn't use it to buy people fans. But yeah, I hella love the vibe of the the hub world here. And you know what's weird to me is that this is a... Uh, the game is called No Straight Roads, but as you unlock the map and beat a, each boss, you just... You, you keep making the road more straight. Uh, and I guess, like, that's your... Since you're rebels in this game, you're that's what you're doing... Is that you're making the the roads more straight? Because <laughs> uh, in this town, there's no straight roads. Yeah, that that electronic sign still looks pretty bad. From even just like being right here, it should be 
like, you know, better. And look at this bitch. This bitch got so much fan art on day one. Uh, out of business sign. Old man took used to have a sign just like this. He just used to prop it up his domino tables after his shop folded. Oh, all right. Uh, you can't really like go inside any buildings or or rooms. That's that's kind of lame. A lot of the stuff you can interact with is just uh, lore or something to explain like the backstory of the city. Um, it, it's. It's good, like, flavor text, I guess. But I, I love looking around. <laughs> it's, it's good to explore here. And you can talk to everybody, and everybody's voice acted. Oh, this is a new character. Uh huh. Erm, um, kind of a MILF. I love the short hair. Barbara, MILF's a journalist. Okay. She's on break now, whatever that means. Oh, this is my favorite couple right here. Jan and Daphne. Ingenious. They just say things and they're blue, so I mean, who, how bad could they be? <laughs> and they're blue. Uh, oh, this is another good character. It, this is this <laughs> you can't say get out when it's this is like the public uh, And you also you can't go inside this building, which is kind of lame And this is like the theater you think this is where you know, you would go fight a uh, uh, Maybe say you or something, but whatever are you the next big thing? Oh, there's a freaking QR code there It's too small for this you to scan in real life. I don't know why it's there exactly. Uh, you do need to level up for that. Or, you have to level up an ability, but whatever. Um, just looking at the art, to be honest. <laughs> this is all cool stuff. Huh. Huh. I, and I feel like the game opens up as soon as you get the double jump, but that's fine. Uh, so I've been to play Sonic Frontiers. Uh. <laughs> Whew. The, the DLC... Is a cool addition. The, the the mere idea of adding more Sonic content to your Sonic game. Uh, it is very good. However, it's so fucking hard. Um, the new... You can new characters are cool that you can play as. That's fine. Uh, they all have new skill trees to fill out. And that's cool. Um, I think... I, I hate playing as Knuckles. Tails and Amy are fine, but Knuckles is so fucking annoying. Like, there's such a wind-up to his attacks, and enemies are really fast in, in their maps. Like, it's it's not just like, you can, it, it just adds the characters to your playable roster. You have to pick a separate, like, save file to play on, and it's a whole different mode. Because the enemies are harder, and instead of like tank or um, caterpillar, it's like tank plus and guardian plus, and it's like harder versions of those. Um, it's I don't even know what they want from you. Like, cause I came, I finally went around as Sonic, and I think you had to upgrade your uh... for Sonic. You have to upgrade the the stats again, like the speed, the ring count, and. Uh... The power and defense, like, that was not cool. <laughs> no, she's quiet, that's too loud. Why did I move to this city? The sound is unbearable. Well, it is named Vinyl City. It is named Vinyl City, so you should have known that to be Funko Pops everywhere. It never stopped. Rambunctious rackets. Scratch grounder! Get me out! Get the music out of the city right now! <laughs> Run your way, your ugliness! Hey! Any stars trying to keep the music? I, I don't know. Uh, we like to do bits here. They're not always good, but when they are, they're good. 
All right, what does this guy have to say? Oh, it's a speaker. <laughs> it's it's not even a guy. Uh, we used to have a pretty active bus busking scene here. We used to pretty ha we used to have a pretty active busking scene here. I guess everyone just prefers to perform indoors these days. That's my best Malaysian accent. Uh, don't ask for another one. You will get one, but just don't ask for another one. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Oh, unbeatable. What the fuck is this? This has to be some kind of tie-in, or something. What the fuck is Unbeatable? <laughs> okay, so apparently Unbeatable is like a... It's a rhythm game <laughs> made by a publisher called D-Cell. And uh, it, it looks a lot similar to this, and so does the animation. Whoa, there he is. <laughs> Let me hop into my 2D model. Or my, my 2D uh, clip art over there. He looks like uh, alternate universe Alex from Yeek. <laughs> Instead of wearing a plaid, he wears like a sweater or uh, like a coat and a, um, a scarf. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sonic Frontiers DLC is fucking hard as hell. And the stages are wild. They introduce like brand new like challenges like in your uh it, it's just... <laughs> you know how like I was saying in my Sonic Frontiers videos that the the stages were like nice. They were challenging enough, but you could like do all the things in one go or maybe do like a second run just to get the 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 six rings. But then with no explanation at all, you play one of the new stages in the DLC. This is, okay, you, there's some new thing you have to deal with. Like, there could be a bomb placed on you. You're now racing a Tails hologram. You have to deal with random explosions that come out. You, and then you have to find three animals. And then you have to find five moon coins. And you have to find, like, these five numbers throughout the stage and get them all in order. Like, dude... That is so much shit. You can't do any of that in one like playthrough. Um, and those I guess what they want you to do is uh, they really want you to. Well, cause some of the some of those things you have to. And some of those things you have to <laughs> like the ones with the tails doll or the tails hologram, you have to uh. You have to win against Tails and do all of those other missions. Like, I can't see myself fucking doing that. Are, are we done? Alright. Uh, and then some of the other ones, like, I can only do, like, one challenge. I don't know where the animals are. I don't even know where to start looking. I, uh, the numbers you have to get in, like, one sitting or else you, you just might as well restart. Or you have to get them in, like, a string. Uh, it's so hard. <laughs> um... And the challenges were hard, too, for each, uh... Of then you need well, when you... Because when you're Knuckles, Tails, and Amy, it's just platforming. You're just trying to reach to the... Get, like, the cutscene, just get the Chaos Emerald, that's it. But, um... When you when you finally Sonic, which is what I, where I'm at right now, you have to reach these four towers. You do... They represent each of the four Guardians or whatever. They each have a different challenge. And they real they all reset you to level one, and that's where I'm like, where the combat starts to like kind of break a little bit, because you have to fight like ten enemies that are stronger at level one. You keep all your moves, of course, but like you don't have the power to just breeze through them, and then you have to do it in like two minutes. You have to do it really short amount of time, like Jesus Christ. Uh, but I managed to do those, but where I'm stuck right now is the boss rush at the end where you have to fight like the You have to do the master Coco the master Korok trial where you have to do the boss rush at level one Fight every single boss at level one uh, So I should be able to do this now Plan your next strategy to topple NSR by learning more about the NSR artists from Kip in this room You can also check into collectibles uh, briefing 
Yes. Uh, it's weird that they gave you a bio of her when she's not real. Her genre is cute core. That's not cute core, is it? It's just pop. It's like super pop. I I don't know. Her genre is cute core. Position charter of Akusuka District. Squeaky voice. And yeah, she's a digital. Oh, I, well, she's obviously supposed to be fucking Hatsune Miku equivalent. She's a, she's a fucking, she's an AI. He's an AI. He's taking over the world. Yeah. <laughs> it is though. NSR signs on anyone who has the power to do whatever. Yeah, she's not real. It, we're pretty much fighting her with Joaquin Phoenix. So we have to kill the creators. Remember, she is not constrained by real world logic. <laughs> real world logic. Much like those liberals in my right gamers. <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not constrained by real world logic. You know, let's live in the fantasy world. Let's live in the real world where everyone should have a, a you know what, we're done. We're not <laughs> I'm not even going with that. This is stupid. Uh Cool Fyra. The Ghoulings. Yeah, 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 the Ghoulings. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Alright, so when you... Depending on, like, each playthrough with a boss, you can do it on higher difficulties. So this is what you get for, uh beating him on the regular difficulty and on the harder ones you unlock more like little lore bits for each boss so so this part is uh he's like i said he's like carl sagan so he just kind of records like weird cosmic monologues and it adds a little bit of backstory as to how like they became like pop artists in this world Uh, sure, whatever. Oh. Wait, who's in the room with him? Why is he recording with somebody? <laughs> oh, maybe he was a professor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's somebody putting on a voice. I'm just a janitor, man. Okay. So, maybe he was a bad professor, and he was like, maybe I should become a DJ instead. Mayday. Oh my god. So this is her Keyblade. Um, you can equip Mars Attack. You know, a lot of these attacks just become irrelevant during boss battles anyway, so it's a little lame. <laughs> Uh, so you can rub it your guitar and throw it like a boomerang. And then for Zook, he can modify his drumsticks, I guess. One with the universe. He can heal. Um, whatever. So what do you have to do? Oh, weird. Okay. I'm, I don't know if I'll remember to do that, but, uh, so yeah. So, what's a special attack? Guitar case. Oh, you can change a guitar case. Wow, look at that. Okay, so we got... I have Silly Jelly 1 on. What's Silly Jelly 2? Okay, skeletons. Gao Gao. Silly Jelly 2. Oh, wait. I wonder if, like, people made these. Oh, these are all the... This is all their names. Ben Bong. Gerald Singh. I'm gonna... See if I can actually find an artist here. Uh, so I looked up Gerald Singh. I don't know if this is the same guy. <laughs> it's probably not, but it just looks like a lot of superhero. He doesn't like a lot of DC, um, 
He does a lot of DC promo art. Actually, this one, Metalheads, Kane, and Avon, it looks kind of like this art here. I I, I hope it's the same guy. <laughs> All I'm finding is on... I don't, even, I, can't, I don't even know if this is the same Yujia. So that QR code is a, is a link to this thing called Beam Beam. Where I guess you... It's an AR app. So what you can do is uh, you find a graffiti in the game, like in Vinyl City. And he, oh, you have to download the Beam Beam app, which I'm not going to do. And then you can scan the fan art and then comment on it with a link. That's a little bit extra for me, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, the, I'm breaking down the boss rush. It does put you at level 1, like I said. And the only thing you have to rely on are your new attacks. And, like, uh, just trying to play it completely perfectly. What was nice about the OG... Um, part of the game where it's like you could upgrade everything you have like really fast and it was okay if you messed up because it was not like you were timed or anything or like there were ways for you to increase your ring count but in the boss rush version you were set at level 1 so your default rings are 400 you can't get any more rings by using the side loop on the ground like you can in uh in the the base game just to, like max yourself out before the boss fight um so you're you have 400 rings for all of uh what can i open it you have 400 rings for each fight across all the fights so the way i was airing it down I was like oh you must i must need to do like just make sure i spend only 100 rings per boss but if you you have to play it perfectly you can't waste any time so like, everything you do has to be perfect, and it's not fun trying to do those bosses perfectly. Because any cost time you spent is loses rings, and you won't have any for the next fight. And, like, sometimes I'm like, I just, I, I know as well restart because I fucked up this part, and then I didn't get to where I need to be in time. And it's just, this, the curve, the difficulty spike just, like, goes up artificially, I think. Because it's not like the boss is the same. It's just... You have to make sure you hit every, like, um, well, I guess the, the boss is not the same. Parts where you have to, like, mash or much, have much more of a resistance now. <laughs> so, and you have to nail, like, every, uh, parry, too, because you have to perfect parry. It's not, like, the generous parry that you would get from the base game. And they make me realize, like, how most of those attacks are not readable <laughs> sometimes. And... You lose time from trying to find the timing, and then by the time you actually find it, find it, you were like, oh shit, I, I spent too much time on this part, I lost a lot of rings, I might as well restart, and you have to do that, and I figured out how to get beat Giganto perfectly. Then the next part was Wyvern, I can't beat Wyvern perfectly, and it's one of those bosses where like, it's on, it's kind of an on rail, and you have to deflect its uh, missiles back at it. <laughs> and then just, they, it sucks. I, I don't think those bosses were designed to be played like that. Uh, and I can't. I just can't. Uh. The way you consume rings, it's just really hard to manage. There's nothing you can do about things sometimes. So you just, your only option is to restart. And if you restart, you have to, you start from the way beginning. It doesn't like checkpoint you at all for each fight. Like, I feel like you should have... It should refill your rings for each before between each boss fight, just to be fair. And it's not fair. <laughs> yeah, what's happening is I <laughs> I break down the guy. I break down Giganto, and now I'm trying to break down Wyvern. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do this one because that one is like purely timing based. Because uh, you not just you can't move around freely because you're on rails, like I said, and then your your only window to attack is when it does a claw attack and it like attacks the screen. That thing is so hard, and just it you don't get like a second chance really because if you miss it, you have to wait a whole another cycle, which is costing you more rings. 
<sighs> and then by the time I'm like, I spent too much. I spent too much time. I had to restart. And then like, I can see that happening for each fight until I get to the final one. And then the final one's gonna make me restart. And it's just like, fuck. I this one sucks. What does this guy have to say? Captain Torpedo? Looks like a character from Doug. Seahorses. I don't know if you spell seahorses with a Y. <laughs> so yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Look, I ain't saying I wanted a challenge. But I say it would need to be like freaking Armored Core over here. Actually, I don't know how, how hard Armored Core is. I just hear that it the tutorial is hard. But like, no, I don't like the level cap at level one. I don't like that it doesn't refill your rings between each fight at least. Or you can't even get like bonus rings between each fight for, depending on like how well you do. It's just... It, it, it just feels like it wasn't meant for that, you know? It wasn't- these bosses were meant for you to, like, play perfectly and spend a specific amount of rings for each fight. It just doesn't feel right. Ugh, and it's hard. And I don't even know what the real final boss is gonna look like. And what's it feeling like is, um... It's feeling like it's- it was a- It's kind of like a remix of the base game where it's like oh if they had more time they would have added like challenges for each of the guardians then they would have added um playable characters like they when you play as knuckle cells and aim they kind of just like reiterate what you've done well i guess this continues a little bit uh it continues like right after the last island is from the base game where sonic is uh being corrupted like completely and he turns black and then all the characters go inside of him to save him and then that's what happens between the the dlc is what happens between um that part and the, and the final boss where you fight the end so but it feels like it it's not mostly new because you've already because in the base game you've already fought the end so it doesn't feel like much of that is mattering since it's just kind of like reiterating things a little bit what is this thing Oh, you have to be level 2. Uh, let's do that one. Just get more fans. Uh, where's the, uh, the thing? How do I interact with this? Oh, you just walk up to it, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of art here. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff to get. Oh my god, there's so much. Who did all this art? Who, who, had, who has time? Who has time to do all this art? Oh god, there's more up here. This is a Seiyu one. Who put a Seiyu one inside of DJ Funkotron zone? What is this? The RC drones. And you can't like interact with any of the stuff you find. It's, it's a little weird. I got a lot of fans. Uh, Mr. Dodo ice pop wrappings. This is Lord because he eats Mr. Dodo pops. God, there's so much. We got the Zook. We gotta get this Pluto. <laughs> you have to really like walk into it or else you don't get it. Okay. So I, I just feel like I can't beat it now. I There's nothing I can do. Playing better doesn't work when you're also trying to like relearn the boss. And, you know, just kind of, like, play it, learn as you go. Like, it doesn't want you to do that. Like, oh, you don't know the time for this? Too fucking bad. Uh, it's it's going to cost you rings, and you have to start the whole damn thing over. It's just, like, what is this? Ugh. It, it's actually, like, it's... Someone described to me on a mutual on Twitter. I was like, this the, the DLC is actually worse. It sucks. I'm like, oh, how so? And they said, a lot of the, just the new things, are, the new missions and challenges are just fucking sadistic. And I'm like, well, I have to see for myself. But yeah, the stages are, the stage challenges are like a lot. It's a lot <laughs> to deal with. Uh, it's a lot of like things to collect when they've never established like 
what those things look like. Like it says, save the animals. What what do the animals look like in this one? It's just flickies, but like they don't stand out in the stages at all. And you still have to do those things and beat whatever objective is placed on you, whatever um, what do you call it? Whatever uh, new hindrance they put on you at the beginning of the stage. It's never, it's just kind of happens. It's never like a text box appearing. Like, okay, in this one, you have to race tails. In this one, there's a bomb placed on you that will explode unless you collect um, time things. Uh, unless you collect little clocks throughout the stage. Like in that one, I didn't even know. I kept trying to go with a default time. And then after like the fifth attempt, I was like, oh, they, they put extra time here. How the fuck am I supposed to know that? It's like, it's, it's. For the sake of difficulty, fine, but they they fucked up on the accessibility part, and it's not cool. <laughs> uh, and I'm not, even, I'm not even saying it needed to be easy, it's just, like, fair. <laughs> like, don't introduce something new at the last... Well, it's not even the last second, it's just... It's, it's unfortunate. <laughs> I wanted there to be new DLC, for sure. Like, that, without a doubt. I was excited for it. I got it. Um, just man, it it is just just sadistic challenges. It's not like good challenges. Oh, you can Why can you go all the way up here? It's because there's a box up here. Oh, god damn it! It's the transformation speed. It's metal chameleon. All right. Anyway. Oh, you cannot use the mouse to look at the camera because it'll fuck everything up.